Mr. Rossetti. In your testimony, you state that the impact of this bill will transfer wealth from American taxpayers to subsidize energy companies. Proponents of the bill claim that the most of the taxes raised by the legislation are paid for by wealthy corporations. Can you explain why that is a misleading assumption and who will actually bear the burden of the book minimum tax? Uh, that's an excellent question. So when you think about the effects of the corporate tax, the important thing to keep in mind is at the end of the day, humans are the ones who pay taxes, even corporate taxes. So most people who say that we should do corporate taxes try to say, well, you know, it's the investors of the corporations who bear the tax. And that might have been true in an environment where we had a more closed economy, but now we have a globally competitive economy and corporations have to compete everywhere. Uh, so under those conditions, the research increasingly shows that workers and consumers of corporations pay a larger share of the corporate income tax. So the IRAs uh, tax on what they call super normal returns, which is uh, kind of a more recent term. Even that is expected to have about 50% of its costs call, fall on corporate workers. Uh, so when we look at these taxes, we have to understand if investors are able to shift the incidence of the tax onto other entities, we would expect them to do so. Uh, and I don't think the IRA is any different in that regard. So is the taxpayer-funded renewable subsidies the best way to lower global emissions, or would money be better spent more effectively elsewhere? Uh, I would say that's probably not the best policy because one of my concerns with climate change is this is a global challenge. So when I look at this sort of policy of continued indefinite subsidy for renewable energies and other energy priorities, it's communicating to the rest of the world, especially the developing world, where they have far lower incomes relative to Americans, that these technologies are only viable with continued subsidy. And really the key is actually having lower real costs, not lower uh, subsidized costs. I yield back my time. <laughs> 